The Clip by Robert Southey. Among the many fashions which have been devised of wearing grey hair, but of the white Irish is the most savage. Beards and heads, says Stanyhurst, a wash, cleanse, nor cut, especially the heads. The hair were always suffered to grow, saying that some they used to round it, and by reason of the same is never kept, it go fast together, and is proceed of time, as a matter of so thick and fast together, it is instead of the head, keep the head very warm, or to be of a great blow stroke. And this head of hair they call a clip, and therein they have a great pleasure. It must have been acknowledged that to the people who were often in danger having their heads broke, the clip was certainly a conventional fashion. Bulver was not aware of this when he included it in his invective against what he called superfluous crops of hair. What emoor land that can bring, he says, none can see, unless it be to breed lights and thunder out of the manner of your Irish, who, as they are a nation estranged from any human excellence, scarce can knowledge any other use of their hair than to wipe their hands from the fat and dirt of the meals and any other filth, which cause their nourish long felt locks, hanging down to their shoulders, which you are wont to use instead of napkins to wipe their greasy fingers. This expression, long felt locks, well describes what their appearance must have been. They represented the prince to the curious description of Ireland by Derrick, which Walter Scott was inserted in this edition of the Summer Tracts.